Guys, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to Kingfisher's YouTube channel. Once again, don't forget to like our videos, subscribe, and press the bell icon for notifications of upcoming videos. Guys, today we're talking about the Fugo baitcaster, the CT100H baitcaster. What makes this baitcaster stand out is it is a much lighter reel, much more comfortable, and it affords you a much more accurate line control. So this is what the Fugo looks like. It's a very small, comfortable reel. What makes a bait caster stand out is the ability to throw a lure without getting an overwind. And the Flugo has a MagForce Z magnetic setting on the side, which prevents anti-backlash. Um, why have it? Basically, if you're throwing into a wind and the spool is spinning fast, you'll get a, a bird's nest, um, overwind if you want to call it, and you sit there and pull it out. The MagForce Z prevents that from happening. Okay, so that's what that MagForce Z is all about. So the MagForce Z affords you a better line control, hence allowing you to throw more accurately, which is very, very important. It also slows down the spool right at the end, so you can make the most subtle of presentations without scaring any of those skittish bass that might be around. Okay, so very important uh, that uh, MagForce Z. A lot of people ask us why a bait caster over a spinning reel. A bait caster, you stay in control of the line at all times. You have tension on the line, doesn't matter what you're doing, you can always feel what's happening between the actual reel, rod, and lure. You can feel any subtle movements or any tap tapping from the bass um, with a bait caster over a spinning reel. A spinning reel, because you get your hand on the rod, you aren't feeling the actual line. So you can't feel that subtle bites that you would when you're using a bait caster. So, bait caster versus a, a coffee grinder uh, or a spinning reel, bait caster always wins. Much more sensitivity with a bait caster over a coffee grinder. Okay. And you can also load heavier line on a bait caster than what you can on a spinning reel or coffee grinder, guys. Very important. Remember that. So just to let you know, this Fluger CT100 will take 110 meters of 14 pound line. Braid is another story, unfortunately. Braids can be thinner, thicker than that. But 14 pound, 110 meters of fluorocarbon fill this reel absolutely perfectly. Another lovely feature, that, like I was saying before, is the gear ratio, 6.3 is to one. In other words, one rotation of the handle will pretty much take up 67 centimeters of nylon. Why is that important? When it comes to um, <clears throat> fishing with big bladed lures and you're retrieving it, the, the power of the gears, you can't actually feel anything in your hands. It's absolutely smooth when you're doing it because it's the oversized gear. So there's no like straining when you're winding those or burning those big bladed lures. The other thing is, if you get a bite and the bass is actually moving towards you, you can take up that slack very quickly just by rotating the handle once or twice and setting the hook. So it all boils down to speed. Okay, so 6.3 is to one retrieve, very, very important. Once you mastered the use of a bait caster, you won't go back to a spinning reel. More accuracy, for a bait caster, stronger gears, holds more line. Your accuracy becomes very, very important in bass fishing. 
and bait caster is way more accurate whether it comes to pitching, flipping or whatever it is. Um, they're also generally a lot lighter, more comfortable and when it comes to setting um, a hook on a bass, you've got a lot more power holding your reel in that position than what you do holding a spinning reel. So you get a lot better hook set with a um, bait caster. Like I said before guys, um, this reel is very light, 215 grams. Uh, CT aluminium, making it very, very comfortable and light in your hands. After fishing for three, four hours, lightness is very, very important when it comes to bass fishing. Most of you know we fish bass competitions for eight to 10 hours. Um, guys, there's nothing worse than getting blisters in the side of your hand. Um, sore wrist from winding too much. You can slow it down so nicely when it comes to spinning because of the 6.3 is to one retrieve. So everything becomes a lot slower when you've got a faster retrieve reel. And of course, if you want to burn it, you just wind a lot faster, but it's comfortable, lightweight, and that's important when it comes to bass fishing. Another great feature about uh, our Flugo is it's got a six kilo tournament drag which is more than ample for any bass that you might be targeting. Another lovely feature is these Dowa handles. Um, it's a soft rubber, as you can see. Very, very nice, very comfortable, especially after a couple of hours of fishing. What makes it nice in having an oversized handle here is once you've been handling one or two bass, your hand tends to have slime on it, and there's nothing worse then throwing a crankbait, setting that hook, and as you set the hook, your hand slips off of the reel, so you can't retrieve it. Or when you're getting a bite, and you can feel that bite, and you want to set the hook, your hand slips off of the reel. So it's one of those uh, smooth handles that is made of a rubber that prevents it from actually slipping, which is very, very nice. It's oversized, so you can actually hold it nice and tightly when you actually set the hook. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to load your uh, bait caster. I'm going to put on a uh, 14 pound nylon. Now remember one thing, bait casters like a hard line. In our, for instance, um, when worming or cranking, which are two different uh, features, cranking baits are hard lures like Rapalas and stuff like that. You need a soft, supple line, a line that has got a lot of stretch. When you're fishing um, Carolina rig or Texas rig, a fluorocarbon is a better line to use. It's a harder um, line that we use on the bottom and it will sink a lot better, so it'll sit on the bottom. Okay, so just remember that there are different lines for different applications. Today I'm just going to show you how to fill this reel. It's going to take 110 meters of 14 pound nylon. And then I'm going to show you how the Mag Force Z works on it. Okay, how to set it. Here we go. Okay, first of all, we're going to take the line through the eye. Take it out. And in the Fluga, you can see there's a lot of little um, holes in that. Easiest way to actually attach it is to stick the line through like that, and then just rotate it around two or three times. Grab that little tag in, like so. Grab the line that's running through it again. And all we're going to do is tie a figure of eight knot to it. So all we're going to do is just tie a figure of eight. One, sorry, one, two, three times. Put the eye through and pull it together. There we go. Slide it down. and pull tight. So there it is there. Then all we're going to do next is cut off that little tag end. Let's grab a pair of scissors quickly. Take our scissors. 
cut it off nice and close. And we're good to go. Okay. So once we've tied our figure of eight, we will place our spool of nylon in a bucket of water. And then all we're going to do is just turn the handle like that. Obviously you can do it on your rod, which makes life a lot easier, but just for demonstration purposes, I'm just doing it here by hand. Now that I've filled my reel, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna attach it to a, one of my rods, and I'm just gonna show you how to set the MagForce Z on the side for any particular lure that you might be throwing. From a weightless lure, to a big crankbait or a big spinnerbait or Carolina rig. I'll show you how to do it. Now it doesn't matter whether it's braid that we're using or whether it's monofilament line, fluorocarbon, the principle remains exactly the same. Okay. <clears throat> so, there we go. And like I said before, it is so comfortable holding that reel in your hand. It's nice and small, quick release. Good to go. Okay, I'm just gonna grab one or two lures and show you how we set that uh, Mag Force Z. To set our reel, we put it on zero, first of all. There we go. Okay, just tension, first of all. This is the the tension knob which controls the actual spool from moving from side to side. So we tension it so that there's almost no movement in the spool. It must just be a subtle amount of movement. That's all. Very important that. You'll never touch it again. Basically is at the moment I've put it on to 20 which is the stiffest or the tightest it can be. I press the actual uh, bar down and my lure doesn't move. When I go to zero, or if I loosen off on it, you'll see the line starts coming out very slowly. So the line just starts rolling down. Let's do it again. Very slowly, it'll go down to the bottom. Oh, it's on the bottom already. There we go. Now, what this does is basically prevent you from getting the overwind. If you just get this quickly, and if you're flipping, it doesn't get an overwind, as you can see there. Obviously, it's a lot easier if you're on a boat flipping and pitching. Um, yeah, much much easier to con. To change it, now if I was using a bigger lure or a heavier lure, ah. okay, so this is a one ounce bladed jig head. which is a way bigger, heavier lure. Now, just to give you an idea, if I left it the way it was, and I let go, it'll roll down. So now we set it, and again, I'm just setting it there onto the heaviest, which is on 20. Set it a little bit more. There we go. Okay. Now I start loosening it off. Okay, so just play with the magnetic setting on it. Still not free. I'm just going to loosen it a little bit more again. There we go. It's getting a little bit freer. I'm just clicking a couple more times. There we go, that's much better. 
So now I can really throw it into a strong wind and I won't get a overwind or any backlash whatsoever. There we go. So that's, yeah, what's that on? That I think is on seven. At the moment it's sitting on seven for this big bladed bait to be free. And remember when I used the lighter weight, it was pretty much on zero. So there we go. No overwind, no anti-backlash. Good to go, guys. There we go. That's how you set your drag for a heavier or lighter lure when it comes to the fluger. Guys, don't forget the fluger uh, CT100H is available from all leading tackle stores nationwide as well as Kingfisher branches throughout the country. There we go, go out, purchase it. You know you're buying a reel with confidence when you buy the Fluger 100, the CT100H. It's a Dower Fluger CT100H.